Alright, well I made a video just a couple of days ago uh, showing how to put a drop down within a drop down in Webflow. Um, so having, you know, uh, children um, in your drop downs, just being able to kind of uh, have, have different uh, areas there. So a um, uh, question I got uh, in response to that video was, can you make a mega menu? How do, how do you do it? Um, a super menu, however you want to call it. And then can you put pictures and video in there? So I just want to show, um, you know, this is a site I did. Uh, and, you know, here is kind of a view of some of the things that you can do. You know, images and breaking things down. So have your typical drop downs, but then also, <clears throat> you know, some pieces like this. So I'm going to show you how to uh, make a drop down um, with a, you know, quote-unquote super menu and how to put some video um, different things in there so uh, I'm just gonna start by going over to my elements um, and then oh oops I actually don't change the uh, width there um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to grab a nav bar and just drag it up here into the top of the page and now that I have a nav bar um, I'm just gonna go over here and, and grab a link or you can come over here and just, you know, you want to get inside the nav menu here. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab a drop down. And I'm just going to drop it here in the menu. Um, so now that I have that, I'm just going to call this, I'm going to go ahead and give it, uh, oh, I'm, that's class, I'm going to go ahead and give it a class, I'm going to call it drop down link. Okay, and then I'm going to come over here onto the settings and I'm going to open that menu up. And so once I open that menu up, I have uh, this drop down list. It's this wrapper container here. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and give it a class two. I'm going to call it, uh, I'll call it drop down mega. Um, and then that makes it sound really cool. Um, and then do this. Now, <clears throat> notice there's no width, there's no height attached to this. Um, and if we go in here, you'll see there's just links. So we've just got those drop down links. So, what I want to do is I want to actually, you know, I want to expand this, make it bigger, put a lot of content in here. So, I'm going to come uh, back over here and I'm just going to go ahead and give this a width. I'm going to say it's, you know, 400 pixels. And you'll see it kind of. Uh, stretches on outside of the page so I'm just going to um, you know move it back over a little bit uh, in fact I probably want it to be a little bit wider so I'm gonna say 600 pic pixels um, and so now I've got that there and I'm gonna go ahead and delete the links out of there I'm gonna come back down here and inside this I'm just going to add a div block and then inside the div block I'm just going to add um, a link block so we have something in there and then um, inside that link block I'm gonna go ahead and add an icon an image so I'm gonna come down here um, grab an image I'm gonna choose some images so I'm just actually gonna upload um, some icon an icon here perfect okay that's fine and then I'm gonna come back over here because it closed when I deleted all that I'm gonna open this back up so you see I have like a div block and this giant image um, which is way too big. I'm going to call this uh, Mega Icon. So I'm going to change the width to like uh, 80 pixels. Um, okay and so it's <clears throat> there I kind of have that arranged and it's inside a link block which is inside a div block. All right, so inside this div I'm actually going to try to split things up here. Um, and I could do flexbox and get really fancy, and uh, but I'm just for the sake of speed here to show you that this works. I'm just going to split this into columns, um, and I'm going to grab my div block and I'm just going to drag it down here into this column. If it will let me, oh, did I put my row into my div block? I did, so I'm just going to put that out of here, um, and then I'm going to move my div block into column one. Okay, so, um, in uh, column one here, column row, and I'm going to come down to my, uh, actually to my drop down mega, and I want to give it some padding so everything's not touching. Uh, you know, 22, I'll do 25 pixels um, all the way around. Um, and then right here I have a link, um, and it looks like uh, sketches, so I'm just going to end this. Um, in this link, I'm actually going to come in here and throw in some text, and I'll just call this, you know, I'll give it a title, call it 
sketches. Um, I'm actually going to this right here make this image. Okay, it's already inline block, so I'm going to text block. I'm going to make this inline block. <coughs> um, and so I have this here, and I can go ahead and change it to my text. I'll change it to like uh, just Lato. Um, change color, and then I'm going to change the size to like uh, 30 here. And then I'm going to put a little padding on it. And so now I've got, you know, um, I've got a link block here. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and give that a width of 100%, just so it stretches out. So now I've got a link uh, with the title. It's got an image and a title. Um, and so, in fact, I can take the link block. I'm going to actually give it a little padding in and of itself. And then I can say on the link block, you know, on hover, make the background, um, you know, light blue. And if I was really, like, getting into this, I would change some of this padding and try to style a little bit better, but uh, just for speed's sake here. So <clears throat> I'm going to take this, and I'm going to come into column one, and I'm just going to copy it, column two, copy it a couple times, and then I'm just going to change some of the images here, so I'm going to replace this image um, and upload layers and then I'm going to replace this image and that's a computer and then I'm going to replace this image a photo so you know, I can say oop, select all of this here Layers, uh, computers, photos. So now I have you know four different links here, and they're kind of styled up. They're way oversized, but um, <clears throat> but just for the sake of the exercise here. So uh, I have that row there. And then what I want to do is I also want to include, a, you talked about video, so I've got images, links, um, I'm going to include a video, so I'm just going to throw in um, an embed right here, and I actually use this embed responsively here. I'm going to copy that and come back over to my Webflow because I've got some settings set here, so we see I've got now like a video here, I'm going to call this um, menu video and then I'm actually going to give it some padding over the top and so when I come back over here and select this and I close the menu and I preview it you see you know I preview this a drop down I get my layers I have a video that will play um, <clears throat> right within it and depending on your settings you can autoplay do all kinds of stuff and really honestly I know this doesn't look great uh, but um, you know it is mega menu and you can see you know I could then um, if I came back in here, I could, you know, come back into my nav area, and I can drag another drop down in here, um, and then I can have this one, you know, open on hover two, and then so I have one that's, you know, mega menu, one that's just typical, and you can style them all different. And honestly, this isn't the way you would do it in an optimal setting. You know, you'd probably have these floating left and this video right and you'd have it wider maybe or whatever. Um, one thing to think about when it comes to mobile views on this, mega menus are a little different so you really have to work on your navigation um, making it easy for your mobile users uh, to find what they're looking for. So um, anyway, hopefully this video helps and it was informative and it showed you how to get done what you wanted to get done.